Good morning and happy new week, everyone. Welcome to Nigeria Now, showing on your digital first Pan African news network to US television. This is Nigeria Now, showing from Nigeria's federal capital city, Abuja. And of course, we bring you top stories from the front pages of the national dailies. Joining me in the studio is Felix. You're welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. And my name is Merciful Ajinamo. Let's begin with some stories, especially from uh, the front pages of the newspapers. Uh, that's Daily Sun, the first newspaper today. Uh, the banner headline there is outrage over 54% hike in electricity meter prices. We can get our story on page 30 and page 22. Uh, the two writers on the under story say rising cooking gas prices energy tariff worsening plight of Nigerians that's coming from Cannes and consumers say will resist fresh hike uh, we see another story right there on Kano negotiations with federal government on political solution at advanced stage and as Ohanez is saying that Igbo bishops monarchs ask federal government to release political solution modalities uh, let's talk about this outrage over 54 percent hike in electricity mm. better prices and we do know that the year is coming to an end and of course as it has always been before now how people start to decry the large price the hike in mm. price or basically everything uh, what do you think of this story uh i think uh, the government has to be more sensitive to the plight of the people for uh the meter to have uh, been increased by 54 percent is uncalled for at this time when uh, when uh, all of us are still looking for how things will be better for us the market is not easy for everyone now food prices uh, look at gas gas is getting close to ten thousand and now for 2.5 kg mm. and uh, this is not really speaking well of uh, you know the economic uh, uh, policy of the government okay i'm still on the daily sun newspaper uh, we're seeing uh, Saraki saying direct primaries role shouldn't scuttle passage of electoral bill. Uh, Voice of Nigeria DG urges Buhari to sign amendment bill uh, that can be found on page 28. Um, will will revenue generating challenge DG budget office is saying it says that two million Nigerians not paying tax. That's not can be found on train, page 29 of the Daily Sun. The U.S. supports Nigerian editors' capacity building program with 93 million naira. Uh, that can be found on page 9 of the Daily Sun newspaper. And the Vanguard newspaper for today, Monday, November 15th, the banner headline there is Children School Without Books as Cost of Paper Hits the Roof. Well, we have a couple of writers, interesting one. The first, high cost of paper removes books from students' bags. A 60 gram paper now 10,500 naira from 5,100 naira. Card for cover now 17,800 naira from 6,000 naira, remove import duty on paper. Publishers are crying. Uh, writers now publish abroad. Removing duty on paper may not be solution. We need to firm up our currency, says federal government. And this story can be found on page five of the Vanguard newspaper. Uh, just on the, the picture of the data, we see uh, statistics on investors target short-term lending instruments as elections draw nearer. A federal government's domestic borrowings rise 18% to 5.6 trillion naira when the uh, u.s supports nigerian editors capacity building with 93.3 million naira uh, mental health chat room debuts in vanguard that can be found on page 10. Uh, on justice orderly's house raid uh, malami says i don't know a jodo that can be found on page 29 of the vanguard newspaper but of course we're still seeing the story on rising gas prices and electricity tariff uh, on the told you Salem case, we'll seek more clarifications from police. Family of the journalist is saying smugglers responsible for high price of rice. Uh, minister is saying right there. Let's go over to the Nigerian Tribune. Uh, the banner headline there is APC. Cloud over convention aggrieved members fail to shift ground. Uh, the writer says consensus tears apart plot two chapter. Matawali. Marafa's feud depends in Zamfara. I can see APC faction insists on court case. APC National Secretary Apabio sustained supremacy contest or your chapter divided over harmonization of state exco. Uh, we were seeing so many issues surrounding uh, the um, party, the ruling party at, at mm. that APC. Uh, just less than two years to the general elections. Do you think uh, the party is able to, you know, go and solve all of these issues 
and get ready for 2022. What's your general opinion yeah, on what's happening? Well, well my, my opinion about uh, the party and uh, their leadership, don't forget, even till now, they don't have board of trustees. Mm. And they don't speak well of a party, of a national party for crying out loud. And in March, they told us that they were going to have their uh, convention, convention in June. Yes. June came. They said, uh, I think December, they, some, sometimes before the end of the year. Now, you know, they are already talking of next year. So we don't really know. Is it a, a party that is unable to put its house in order, ruin a country? Now you can see the effect, you know, on the economy. We just, uh, you just read about uh, uh, school children and their yeah. books. And now. the rise in papers uh -huh. and everything. Now, even if you, go, if you go back to one of the headlines also is talking about, one of the writers is saying that, um, uh, tariff uh, of uh, importation of uh, books to Nigeria, the tariff should be removed. That's not even the issue. How many people are buying original books in mm. the first place? So removing tariff does not even have anything to, to, to do about it because most people in Nigeria buy pirated books. And that's a fact. They buy pirated books and, you know, these things are just... So when you now come back to how the government is, I mean, how the party is even uh, ruling themselves just within the house, Last week or towards the weekend, we saw what happened in different states where they were not shifting grants for themselves. Everybody wants mm. to take his own pie. They don't care what happened. So with this kind of thing, I can tell you that uh, I, I can't really say that we, they, even they themselves have confidence in having or holding their convention anytime soon. Hmm. And that will affect the general elections, don't you think? Uh, well, it's left to them. It, to me, it, it doesn't affect the general election. That's their own party issue. So okay. it shows you all those things happening. Shows that if they are not careful, there is a potential implosion that mm -hmm. is going to happen in that party. In because past. seeing all these things every day, this state will have its own issue. Look at what's happening in Zafara State again, you know. So you, when you see a party that is unable to undo its internal issues, look at how PDP handled theirs. What they expected that will happen to PDP never happened at the end of the day. And moving on to the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, of course, some stories that we've not read. We see Governor Makinde says Oyo's IGR growth result of hard work. Uh, we can get out on page 29. State run seventh on NBS State Half Year IGR Index. And on page two, terrorists have regrouped in Lake Shad Axis. Ndume raises the alarm. And now we've seen a statistic from World Organization says 19 million living with diabetes in Africa to rise to 47 million by 2025. And then we see something on page 26 of the same Nigerian Tribune, Uni Lawrence student beats female lecturer to stupor. Mm. That can be found on page 26 of the Nigerian Tribune. I want to quickly just get your view on this story. We have been seeing this since yesterday and people have been talking about it, uh, how the state of the Nigerian educational system is right now. Uh, what do you think of it? Uh, well, it's, it's quite pathetic what we are seeing. That's not the first time it's been happening. Probably, thank God this uh, was reported. And uh, I think that's a university, right? Yes, um, Uni Learning. Yes, Uni Learning. We even read some things, I think, uh, over the weekend where secondary school students had to beat up their teachers. You know, these things happen. I think uh, the state of education in Nigeria is, 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 is gradually going down the drain, especially the public institutions. So what do we do to make it uh, step up? Well, the, 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 let me tell you, those in government, probably the reason why they are not really putting their efforts into developing our education is because their children are not there. Hmm. If their children attend, they know what to do. All right, they know what to do. That's a very strong point right there. Uh, the Nation newspaper, The Banner, is saying why federal government plans to utilize fresh foreign loans. You can grab yourself a copy of any of these newspapers and stay updated on what's happening in Nigeria. And of course, you can stay updated on our website as well. That is www.tostvnetwork.com. Know what's happening in Nigeria and, of course, across Africa. Follow us across all our social media platforms at TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And, of course, our YouTube is right there on the screen. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us on Nigeria Now. We'll see you tomorrow.